Tom Richardson with Chloe Oxbury at Narrow Road. All complete, said the toad triumphantly, pulling open a locker. You see, uh, biscuits, uh, potted lobsters, sardines, everything you could possibly want. Uh, soda water here, backy there, uh, letter paper, mm, bacon, jam, cards and dominoes. Uh, you'll find, he continued, as he descended down the steps again, you'll find that nothing whatever has been forgotten when we make our start this afternoon. I beg your pardon? said the rat slowly as he chewed a straw. But did I overhear you say something about we and start and th this afternoon? Oh, now, you dear good old ratty, said Toad imploringly, don't begin talking in that stiff and sniffy sort of way because you know you've got to come. I couldn't possibly manage without you, so please consider it settled and don't argue. It's the one thing I can't stand. You surely don't mean to spend your life sticking to your dull, fusty old river and just live in a hole and, and a bank and a boat. <laughs> I, I want to show you the world. I'm going to make an animal of you, my boy. I don't care, said the rat doggedly. I'm not coming, and that's flat. And I'm going to stick to my old river and live in a hole and a boat, as I've always done. And what's more, Mole's going to stick to me and do as I do. Aren't you, Mole? Of course I am, said the Mole, loyally. I, I always stick to you, Rat. And what you say is to be, has got to be. Mm, all the same. It sounds as if it might have been, well, rather fun, you know? He added wistfully. Oh, poor Mole. The life adventurous was so new a thing to him and so thrilling. And this fresh aspect of it was so tempting and he'd fallen in love at first sight with the canary-coloured cart and all its little fitments. The rat saw what was passing in his mind and wavered. He hated disappointing people and he was so fond of the mole that he'd do almost anything to oblige him. Toad was watching both of them closely. Come along in and have some lunch, he said diplomatically, and we'll talk it over. We needn't decide anything in a hurry. Of course, of course, I don't really care. <laughs> I only want to give pleasure to you fellows. <laughs> Live for others. That's my motto in life. 